everyone gathers, and it's show, tell, and story time. The three stories, the one that could have been, the one that got away, and the one that we actually caught. Despite the good humour, the weigh-in is a serious business. 10.055. The actual bait I caught it with had been under a balloon for uh, about two or three hours and then caught nothing. We wound it in, thought we'd go for some drifting, put it, put it on the hook, threw it out, drifted, hoped, hoped um, we'd come in for the hookup and sure enough, bang, she hit us. Once I got it on board, it was high fives all around. Young and old are straining to see what's been caught. And the fish keep coming. And so do the stories. Jim kept cutting me off. He was using razor wire. <laughs> it's not good enough, is it? One fish after another. It's time to relax for these anglers. And while there's relief for some, there's frustration for others. At 6.049. But at the end of the day, even if they're not a winner, they're still mighty proud of their achievement. I've been doing this Mavericks tournament for uh, eight years. I must be a slow learner. and. Uh, caught a snapper about uh, 9.3 kilos. I think we're incredibly lucky in New Zealand to have such uh, a fantastic environment and the beautiful waters we do um, and to be able to catch the fish we do so close to our country's major city. You can see by the, the nature of the fish uh, brought in today that um, the, the, the fishermen are very, very confident. To be able to catch beauties like these involves more than a little luck. Remembering each angler can only weigh in one snapper and one kingfish per day. To be able to go out on one specific day and catch a great fish is testament to uh, you know, the calibre of the, of, the, of the fishermen here today. In saying that, um, for me, I'm not a great fisherman and it's complete luck. And it doesn't matter what the fish looks like, the scales never lie. 5.997. Oh, I shrunk. It was 6.1 on the boat. We tried every bait gave every bait a go. I squid um, Benito head, which caught me the biggest fish that we had on the boat. It was a shame I didn't try that more often, unfortunately, but the weather dictates and the currents dictate and it was just a matter of giving everything a go to see what worked. I've fished in the islands, I've fished in Australia, uh, New Zealand, as far as I'm concerned, for variety and for top quality eating fish, you would not get any better. And the Haraki Gulf, Rex, is just, it is tops. As the sun goes down on the first day, all eyes are on Team Relentless. The fight was finally won, and the monster kingfish revealed. But is this the one? 23.065. That is our beauty. It's been a great day. We've been out at the uh, Little Barrier today. We um, were stray lining and we had a live bait out and we hooked in. We weren't sure what it was at first. We chased it for four hours. Um, we would have covered three or four, maybe five kilometres chasing this fish round and round. <laughs> They're all trying to be the master of the Mavericks, the ultimate in fishing tournaments. It offers a challenge to foster long-lasting friendships and experience the thrill of the hunt. But with day one over, the winners are revealed. There are hundreds of prizes to be won. The prizes for 2008 are pretty special. The major prize up for grabs is a week to Fiji, flying Air Pacific, staying at the Outrigger Resort Motel. But this is the one that every angler wants to get his hands on. The overall trophy.